welcome to the new video fam here we are we're about to make a DIY aromatherapy candle first things first we're gonna go ahead and look for some recycled glass jars this is my little box I keep in my kitchen uh, every time we finish a glass jar we clean them we dry them and we store them these are the best type of ways to organize and to make things DIY just like these candles that we're about to make today even if I lost my money, the zero runs deep on it. And I don't need to speak a single word, cause you got me holding, holding. Even if my jokes aren't funny, my tongue tied up on it. And I don't need to speak a single word, cause you got me holding, This label was a little difficult to come off just with soapy water and warm water and so I went ahead and mixed my baking soda and some olive oil you can use whatever oil you have at hand I wanted to keep this video very uh, cost efficient and use the things that you have at your house very accessible things but if you do have goo gone by all means please use it save yourself some time So I like to create my own essential oil aromatherapy candles for this exact reason that you're watching right now. These are very natural uh, waxes. This is beeswax which actually purifies the air and it solidifies uh, any type of wax that you will use. Like it's going to solidify this coconut oil that I'm going to use um, and it makes your candle burn longer. So I like to know what's inside of my candle that I'm using. I like for it to be aromatherapy, pro to have aromatherapy properties. And the essential oils that I chose were for certain aromatherapy properties, such as the first ones that I made are going to be lavender, and the other one it's to kind of make sure that the buggies go away. If you don't own a double boiler, you can actually just make it with a pot of boiling water and you put over that pot of boiling water a bowl or a glass bowl. Anything that is heat resistant and won't shatter and go ahead and put it right over the boiling hot water in the pot and it will melt your wax. Now you can use any type of stick to hold the wick up and center it in any jar. I just happened to have this Five Guys Camping Fire Kit and so I used what I had at hand. You can also purchase a bag of wooden dolls or kind of sticks. Uh, at Dollar Tree you can purchase the 100% cotton thread at Dollar Tree that will be your wick which I'm using in this video. Right 
As far as the wax goes, uh, you want to let it completely melt and before you start pouring it into a glass jar or any of the essential oil in it, you do want it to be melted at 170 to 180 degrees prior to actually uh, using it to create your candle. In case you don't want to shatter it to be too hot or shatter the glass jar you'll be using. You want to make sure that your wax is about 70 to 80 celsius degrees because you want to make sure that when you're putting in the essential oil it doesn't just evaporate or burn off essential oils are very sensitive to heat well some of them that i know of and so you want to make sure that the temperature is just right to be able to pour in the essential oils what you see me doing right now is i had these dried lavender flowers uh from etsy I'm slowly putting these lavender flowers in here just to give it an extra oomph of how it looks and also the scents to make sure that it's stronger. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the lavender essential oil. The, the amount of drops is always going to depend on the size of the jar that you're working with but I went ahead and put about 20 to 25 drops of essential oil because I do want the smell to be there but you guys can always go down or a higher but I wouldn't exceed about 30 to 35 because at that point, after you exceed 40, I believe that you're already wasting your essential oils. And again, remember that essential oils could be very expensive. Also, you want to make sure that you mix your essential oil very well in your wax because you want to disperse the essential oil within your wax. If you don't and it bottles up to the top, then when you light it, you can catch flame, guys. So I'm just putting it out there to make sure that you mix it very well. Here I'm getting ready to go ahead and put my Terra Shield essential oil drops in. Some oils are going to be thicker than others, so as you can see I was struggling to get all the oil out of this bottle. But I put about, I would say, 20 to 25 drops in this uh, candle as well. And I am planning to make a bunch of these because I want to be outside chilling, but I quite am not a fan of insects. At least outside, I know that's their home, so I don't want to kill them. But if they come inside my house, it is free for all. We're going to have a showdown. Now remember that I am trying to use the things that I hope a lot of you have at your house to make this video accessible to several people out here. And so if you do have a Cricut, go ahead and use it. If you know what I'm talking about, if you have a label maker, go ahead and use it. But I wanted to keep this as simple as can be. And hopefully you have some packing tape, shipping tape in your house. And this is how you do a DIY labels. It You just have to vigorously, as you can see what I'm doing here, rub down all of this tape and it's just one-sided so what you're seeing is it's on top of a plastic cover that I'm protecting my table with but I only it was the paper and I only used a little bit of the shipping ta label tape and I put it over the paper and now I am rigorously rubbing it down so that the transfer of ink can happen as clear as possible so they do come a little light but it's worth it I loved absolutely loved the way it came out it looked 
go ahead and use as warm as water as you can because I think that it's better and it's quicker to detach the paper from the tape so the warmer the water the better and go ahead and leave it about one minute or two it might not even take that long you may see the separation already I don't know if you noticed by now, but I made my labels for these candles bilingual. It is totally me, even though I'm not maybe dual language you would consider, my SLPs would consider me that. I'm more of like Spanglish, but hey, that's just me. And so I went ahead and labeled the one for the outside, Malitos Bichos, which means a uh, freaking bugs. In the bottom of these labels, if you kind of zoom in on it, you can see that I translated it into English right on top before I list the ingredients that were there to make this label. So what you'll see right now is the separation. This is exactly what you want. So I use different methods as you saw. I used the back of scissors. I used uh, Mariano's gift card, just a card in general. I just wanted to see the variety and the different difference of how dark these labels were gonna come out so that I know which one worked best. In my theory and in my opinion, I think that the back of your scissors works best and it made the darkest labels. So here you'll see me putting the label on my lavender candle. I love the smell of this. I love how it came out. Uh, I prefer it to be white, but I am gonna go ahead and invest in white beeswax pellets instead of the yellow ones. Uh, they come in yellow and in white. So I prefer the white aesthetic to it, but that's just my preference. You can use either one, they're both still natural. You'll see me going ahead and putting this label as tight as can be, smoothing it out, getting all the air bubbles out. Uh, you can see the faint color to the label again you're using what you have this is the quickest and easiest way to do a DIY kind of vinyl label and I absolutely love the way it came out I would have preferred it to be a little darker but love 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 it and I love that it's bilingual totally me uh, this means calmate which is calm down and that's a lavender it's calm your butt down and so malditos bichos is freaking bugs and the calmate un poco which is a little one is calm down a little bit Leave me any comments if you have questions or for whatever other type of DIYs you want to see me do. Just leave me a comment so that I know which way to go. Bye. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you. Baby up with a slow